30,000-year-old unicorn skull has been discovered, a white horse, long mane blowing as it happily gallops across the meadow, with positive energy and a shining horn on its forehead, are the characteristics of a unicorn as we have in our minds through folklore. Maybe, after all, it was not like that, but this image does not seem to be far from reality. It's said that people of the past confused rhinoceroses with unicorns, but it is not so strange when one considers how many variations of species existed thousands of years ago that are of course now extinct. Generally, the unicorn was considered from a mythical to a non-existent creature of the imagination. At the same time, there were indications that it was a mammal that had already disappeared 350,000 years ago. However, this recent discovery changes everything we thought we knew about this animal. Although the find does indeed resemble a rhinoceros, the skull shows much more similarities to a horse. It was found in the Pavlodar region of Kazakhstan, and this species is known as Elasmotherium sibiricus. It was in surprisingly good condition. Early descriptions of the Siberian unicorn referred to an animal six feet tall and uh, two meters tall, four and a half meters long, weighing almost four tons. This is clearly a larger species than the horses we know today, but it seems that back then the typical size of an animal was much larger than today. Well, we even know that the golden horses uh, at the time of Alexander the Great, the horses had huge heads. They were almost like uh, buffalo heads, and uh, that's why Alexander the Great called his horse Vukefalus, cattle-headed horse. Okay, They were the golden horses that the Chinese wanted to buy because they were fearless in battle. So going back to this, and of course those horses don't exist anymore today. Now, researchers from Tom State University use radio dating techniques to determine how old these bones were. They calculated them at about 29,000 years old. Based on its size, they suggest that it was a male, but they are still not sure how or what it died of. They also speculate that it, it migrated to warmer climates because of this and lived uh, until the relatively very recent and recent past contrary to what they originally thought. As therefore the existence of the unicorn is confirmed at a time when there were people very close to our own evolution, perhaps the latter had a better sense due to better contact with nature and could distinguish whether this animal really possessed or emitted some kind of positive energy in a way analogous to that which the cat can through its body, collect and remove the negative energy of a place, or as the dog smells, the most positive points of a place. And this I've translated for you for a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.